Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm JP and I'm Luke. And if you like different opinions, I'm someone on the autism spectrum. And I'll give the opinion of someone who is not. So what are we doing today, Jacob? We are reviewing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Okay, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we bring out new content weekly, multiple videos a week, in fact. You've seen this movie twice, Jacob, yes. so I'll let you give a summary. So tell us what happens uh, in this movie. Well, after the aftermath of Spider-Man Spider No Way Home, Doctor Strange is having nightmares from other version of himself so he's having those and then he's um gone to a wedding from his love interest and then you know everything's going magically well and also in his um dreams he's been seeing a female um as well in the dreams with himself so a lot of things going on and then at this um dream he uh he sees a fight going on with this creature being from we don't know where and then he actually sees this person uh from his dream and then the fight ensues with Wong and we get this confrontation and then um we get an explanation of the multiverse and apparently it wasn't a dream. Yeah, he learns that the theory that our dreams are actually just ourselves in a different multiverse is kind of proven by this female character. Um, and then what he goes to seek some help from Wanda. So yeah. as he believes she has some experience with this based on what had happened um, at the in the show WandaVision. So what happens from there? Basically, they have a conversation and she thinks he's come to sp spoken with her because of the events in WandaVision, but no, it's because of what what's happened with the female character. And then um, it's revealed that Wanda has not been her true self and she has dark motives. Yeah, and that he, she, in fact... Um was aware of this female and was basically luring her and to come to her so which is quite an interesting twist and from that they go on an adventure through the multiverse and Wanda is having it's basically this cat and mouse chase between Wanda and Doctor Strange and this new character uh, America yeah um, interesting name um, fighting through the multiverse um, to yeah so I, I don't want to give away too much but there, there's a lot of multiversal travel in this and um we get to learn some really cool things about where the direction of the mcu could go indeed yeah. is there anything else in a the summary you think we've we've missed that doesn't give it away completely what happened i will say compared to other mcu um stories i really enjoyed the storytelling with grief and personal growth and seeing how your other just dealing with um grief and loss hmm. so let's move into giving a rating and then we can discuss a bit more in depth some of the things that and unpack what happens in this movie so uh what rating did you give this jacob i gave it an 89 percent out of 100 i really enjoyed the Characters dynamic and character growth from Doctor Strange being a man that thinks he knows everything and relying on other people. The acting performance is amazing. The cinematography, as always with Doctor Strange, visually is probably the best movies in the MCU. The directing is amazing. Uh, I think the story did a really good job. I know some people don't quite like the the story, but I think it does a really good job. And overall, I think it's really fantastic. It could have done more things with the um, multiverse, but I think it's saving it for 
the third movie and possible new things. This is just a taste of what the multiverse has in store and I'll ask Luke a question in spoilers I think is worth discussing but overall I think it's not as good as Spider-Man No Way Home but I think it's definitely worth um, continuing with the MCU. Mm -hmm. Agree. My score was very similar. I gave it 90%. So 1% higher. Um, we will, as always, at the bottom, put in our scores over the categories that we chose. Uh, this was a movie that I wasn't expecting a lot from. I traditionally don't really like Doctor Strange. I think his arrogance frustrates me, and I don't quite understand his abilities. Uh, just things I have, problems I have with it. But every movie he's in, I seem to like. I, I don't know. I, I don't like him as a hero, but he has good movies. You know, uh, Spider Man: No Way Home. It was great, and then this is another one. Um, this movie, in essence, you know, it's a, a story of you know love. You know, there's a love, a, and, love and grief. You know, we've got Wanda who, through if you hadn't seen Wonder Vision, I don't think this movie will have the same impact. Yes. But you know, she had the grief of having to kill her partner, uh, Vision, for what she believes was a po was pointless because she believed that they ended up, you know, having the blip and resolving the, the conflict that uh, Thanos created and he didn't need to die, in her opinion, which I don't know if that's true. And then she created a new version of him in a, a perfect world where they could live um, to, again, only have that taken away from her and to be prosecuted you know, for it and be seen as a villain. And she ultimately just wanted a family. She wants these kids, and she has seen that in other multiverses that other versions of her have these kids, and she just wants that. So she doesn't want world domination. She doesn't want evil. She just wants to be a mother. Um, and then to eventually realise that she became a villain in order to do that, and that the kids that she wanted were scared of her because of her actions, which is, you know... A, a really cool story to add into this. There's some weird magic things and, you know, we've got zombies and, you know, all kinds of strange things that make this movie um, quirky. But the actual storyline of it, I think, is really powerful and uh, it's a great uh, additive to the MCU and opens up plenty more windows. And the new character of America Chavez adds some more elements a really dumb name, but it's a really cool element. So um, it's a, I, I, I really enjoyed it. It's probably one of the better, um, one of my favourite Marvel movies so far that have came out. And maybe that's because, you know, when you've got 20 plus movies behind it to give it context, maybe that's why it gets better. But it's, it was, again, a like a sleeper film. I didn't expect anything of it. And then it surprised me, which I think is, always something nice to happen. Yes. So moving to a bit more of a discussion and spoilers, uh, quickly, what was your favourite thing about the movie? Uh, my favourite thing about the movie is that unlike other MCU movies, when they have a typical villain that you don't grow to like, except for Thanos and Killmonger in Black Panther, this is a villain that we have started off in an Avengers Ultron. We have she she's been a hero, and now she's a villain. But she's doing it for a good bad reason. That's up to interpretation, and that's why I think this movie means a lot more. Is because she's not she's just a mother wanting her children. You might go well, you're being a spoiled mother, but. For me, that, that's what made the movie more powerful and I liked it more because it was other Avenger going against other Avenger, so it made it more impactful and that's why I liked it. That's what I think was the best part. The the fact it was a villain, it wasn't really a villain, but there's the villain in this movie, but their motive was understandable, clear and relatable. Not just, I want world domination or I want to kill you. It's, you know, I just want a family. You know, it's, it's, I, I think it's a great motivation. Uh, worst thing about this movie? Uh, the worst thing? Oh, I guess it was um, cre creepy and some people might be like, oh, I don't like that aspect. But for me, I enjoyed the... 
that took risks and tried to be different and that might be why people aren't liking it as much because personally it feels it feels different and unique with its horror and Sam Raimi aspects. That's probably what people wouldn't like about it. I reckon maybe the worst thing about it for me is I, I just it's unclear of the powers, you know, like mm. I really don't know where Doctor Strange's powers are limited at and what he can't do. And the same with Wanda. She seemed to just, you know, she could kill anyone and do crazy things. But then, you know, America could defeat her with a punch. You know, there's just certain things about it that I, I don't know. I can't draw where their powers start and end. There seems to be complete randomness to how powerful they are at certain moments and other moments when they're not. That's just one little thing with it. Anything you would change or you think was missing that could have made it better? I think, like I said in the verdict part, is they... They should have added more multiverse aspects, but I think they're saving that for Doctor Strange 3 and other movies. So I like that they added in um, different characters and they're going to be adding in the Fantastic Four eventually, but I think they could have made it bigger, but that's what they had more movies for. So that's what I think, yeah. I think the same. I thought more exploration of different multiverses would have been cool. They kind of only went to maybe one or two and they kind of stuck in mainly in one of them. Mm. And I think seeing a few of the others could have been cool. And yeah, just exploring that a bit. I know after we first saw it, you thought that the America character, you would have liked to have seen a bit more backstory. But I don't agree with that. Because I think then it would have been her own origin story, which it wasn't. It had to... She just had to be introduced, and you know what? Maybe she will get her own show or a movie down the, the the line. But if we focused on her, then it wouldn't have been a Doctor Strange film. So I'm mm. glad they didn't do that. So we've worked out favorite thing, worst thing, what you'd change. Um, what other talking points do you have about this show? Like I said in the summary, something that I think is worth talking about is I feel like there's two. Um, audience or two mindsets with the MCU now. People that really love the Infinity Stone saga and for them that was their I guess piece of the cake or piece of the pie. So they've gone well I hate hate or don't want to watch the MCU now and then there's people that like that want to keep watching to see what they do with it and that's why I feel like people don't like the multiverse of madness because to them they they don't like the direction where it's going. Well, personally, I think the multiverse is a lot more interesting than the Infinity Stone saga. Um, but a lot of people might argue that Loki absolutely ruined um, the, the Infinity Stones. Mm -hmm. So the question you're asking is, where do I sit on the fence? Whether I think that this saga is better or worse than the Infinity yeah. Stones saga? Do you agree with me? Or do, are you on the people that enjoyed the Infinity Stones well, saga? Because it's more simple. I see them as definitely separate things. Mm. I don't have a preference for, for one or the other. I like both so far. I guess I like the Infinity Saga because it... You know, it all tied in and we had a kind of a conclusion. But this is now all expansion. You know, it's cool. I like these new phases of the MCU. They do make the Infinity Saga lose credit, in my yeah. opinion. They don't seem as important. But I don't dislike it. That's just my main thing. Every time we learn about the multiverse, we learn about the Eternals, and we learn about celestial beings and planets, you go, well... Thanos wasn't really a big deal, was he? So it discredits it, but they're still good. At the time, it seemed epic. So it's... I, I guess you can't be angry at them for doing that. It's like whenever you discover something, the... you always, Until you know what danger is out there, you think the danger in front of you is the most serious one. So you can't go, oh, well, the Avengers shouldn't even have fought Thanos. Like, well, I should have just, you know, moved on to fighting... Kang or the next thing, they didn't know about that person yet, so they could only fight what was in front of them. So, uh, yes, it somewhat discredits it, but we're just we're just expanding it. But maybe for another video, the MCU universe is very very confusing. Yes. But sometimes I've just got to enjoy each movie as they come out and not overthink it. Because I, in order of the hierarchy of who 
the most powerful and what to watch out for. I'm, I have no idea now. <laughs> the, Eter the Eternals was the one that really confused it all for me. So, yeah, I, I don't know where we're at for that, but maybe we'll get some more clarity with future films. And to answer your question why I feel like you like Doctor Strange, I think it's because of Benedict Cumberbatch, because of his acting performance. You might be confused about the character but the actor does his job and that's the main thing he does do a good acting job but i, I don't i wouldn't say i have a, a liking for benedict cumberbatch i think that's probably the only role i've ever seen him in like i've never watched um sherlock holmes or any of the other things he's in so mm. i don't necessarily have a liking towards him but he does do a good role i just think dr strange he is and he does have an arrogance about him which is a good and a bad thing and his powers still puzzle me, but he can be so powerful through reading books. I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's a better explanation for it, but that's that's how I interpret it so far. Did you like the story of the Lu Illuminati? Oh, adding the... So my idea of the Illuminati is like, you know, our real world is like they believe it's this, you know, secret society that, you know, runs the world and whatnot. So to have that then mentioned in the MCU was really interesting because I hadn't heard of them in the MCU context. But yeah, that was a cool... I really did enjoy the cameos. Mm. Um, but I don't know if we'll see those characters again after what Wanda did. So I, I don't know what will happen with those cameos, but it was cool to see them. And even if it was just, you know, Marvel kind of flexing and saying, hey, we've got the rights back to the Fantastic Four and to be able to use, um, uh, like, uh, the X-Men, maybe that's just them just kind of giving us a taste of what's to come next. Were you frustrated that the male characters were killed off so quickly and then it became kind of just a female fight? Oh, I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I guess the... The males were probably a bit more upfront in their approach to taking on Wanda, and then the females were what was left. Mm. I guess I would still query whether Wanda is really that powerful to do the things she could do. That yeah, you know, like she was under uh, uh, Professor Professor X. Yeah, yeah Professor X is like um, telekinesis, but then she could like turn that around and like blow him up. Like, I just, I don't know, I don't buy, I guess we don't know her powers to believe that that's possible, so, little, little bits. Do you like how America's, um, character, that she's the only one in, she's the only one, um, uh, she's the only one that... Like, there's no, no variants of her. Yeah, because America... I, I like that idea that, you know, she is, you know, there's, the, she's the only one or she's from a, a multiverse where they are unique and she's trying to return to that multiverse or find her parents that had got sucked in. Mm. That's a cool story. The name, you know, mm. America Chavez. So she's meant to be, you know, like Mexican or Hispanic, mm. but they had to call her America so they yeah. could continually through the show be like, they're trying to take America. They're trying to capture America. Yeah. Why are they trying to do this to America? It's like, <laughs> as Marvel, like, obviously it's from the comics, but I feel like at the time when they wrote the comic books, it was a way of, I don't know, just trying to be political about what countries were doing to America without it being obvious by calling one of their characters America. Mm. So they can be like, oh, America, save the day again. or And ultimately she's... She, she's kind of the one of the most powerful things in the multiverse now, and mm. she's America. Mm. So yeah, it is it is a funny twist. Did you did you like of how the um, dreams happen to be the I guess evil version of Doctor Strange because we were wondering oh how did the dreams happen and then it ended up to be the other version of himself and they had the epic magic battle the magic gnomes yeah oh that that was one thing that kind of annoyed me <laughs> but I, I don't know if the other doctor strange were necessarily evil they had just give they had had things happen to them in their multiverse that had caused them to become that way mm. or they had thought that the only solution was to take america's powers to prevent wanda or they had, you know, been sacrificed because of what they were trying to do with Thanos or 
they, there's something different, but yeah, ultimately our version of Doctor Strange is the only one that was kind of pure of heart and it made the right decision. Mm. Um, so that was interesting. I do like the idea that maybe our dreams are actually just us in a different multiverse because that yeah. could be related. Like I think relatable, like everyone's had a dream where they've been in it and something's happened and it makes you think like maybe that's a multiverse of us maybe we're part of a, a many multiverses so it's a, it's kind of cool it like makes us feel part of the the movie and relatable to it mm. um but yeah back to your question i do think it was uh, yeah that they make out that our doctor strange is one of the only ones that was good or and oh and basically none of them ever ended up with the girl yeah like that was always the common theme which is something we kind of learnt through what if Mm. And that he never ended up with the girl, and every time he tried to, she would only die in another way. Yeah, yeah. So that was, that was cool. So did you do you like how they're setting up for Doctor Strange three with him trying to uh, set up the com uh, the uh, I forgot what those events were called when uh, the multiverse is um, to connect. Oh, yeah, the collisions, was it? Yeah. yeah. I think that's cool. I think it'll be a an interesting movie, and I, I'm sure that we'll probably see America return in it. So mm. we'll um, you'll get to see America save the day. America will save the multiverse. Uh, so, yeah, I think, it, I think it's setting up for something cool. I'm very much looking forward to it. And do do you think Wonder Vision as Scarlet Witch is going to come back, or more, more pants with real life scenarios with the actress's um contract um i don't know if she'll be in other movies that as you said have come down to the actress but i don't think they're implying that she's dead no i think she's done the right thing and she's probably going to go into hiding and feel bad for what she did but she might return to you know make a difference or save the day because she is obviously very very powerful and if she can harness the power of the Scarlet Witch but not have the evil side of it, she could be very helpful in, you know, future battles that they might have. And did you like the horror aspects of the um, movie or did you find it just creepy or did you like that the MCU was taking a risk because some people could say it was just jump scares for the sake of it? No, I liked that it was something different. When you said that it was going to be a horror film, I wasn't quite sure how they would make that work. And it, it did. It had the jump scares. It had the kind of getting um, chased. Um, it was, yeah, they managed to put it in. And it was a lot more gory than other MCU movies, which was cool. It was something different. I, I don't know if they'll do it again mm. because it may not work for another film. But it's interesting to see that they give the directors... Um, freedom to put their own twist on things and it's not just the same thing repeated each time so i did like it mm. do you think it was a i do think it was weird that there wasn't any um mention of vision mm. no no if there was a there might be a tactical reason to that or maybe mm. um I'm not quite sure where Vision's going with that. Are we implied white that, Vision? Yeah. yeah, that is White Vision going to be the replacement, and will she fall in love with him? And is he the same thing? Because ultimately, he's a a robot of some sort that was man made. So I guess they could make him have his memories and you know pick up where they left left off from. So, but yeah, they they didn't mention it. And did you like the uh, the joke with uh, you meant to bow down to your um so your elder and then eventually you get that? Yeah, I, Wong isn't a character that I have much interest in, but he, he is funny and interesting in the scenes he's in. But he's not a favorite of mine. But that was a nice little um like twist or additive to the to the movie. Mm. Well, thank you for watching. We are the OB Thorin Alliance. If you like this video, check out other ones from our list. Uh, like and subscribe. Let the force be with you. Bye-bye.